Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and take an initial first look at the Tick Pods 2 by Mobvoi. Now, these are obviously, they look just like AirPods. <laughs> uh, same, same sort of shape, same sort of style, etc. These are the ice color. So I think they come in ice, um, blossom, and some navy color. So like kind of like a pinkish, a navy, and white. And so these recently came out. So this is Tech Pods 2. These are just the, the regular version, not the pro version. And they feature Bluetooth 5.0, Qualcomm aptx audio fast charging so you can toss them in the case in the charging case and get uh, you know a significant amount of battery charge really quickly to kind of keep you going listening to music uh, it says it features 23 hours of music playback quick pairing dual mic noise cancellation so if you're talking and, and using them for phone calls and that sort of thing as uh, noise cancellation it has touch control as well as being able to control Siri and Google Assistant, depending if you're using on iOS or Android. Now I'm gonna be testing these out on Android. I'm gonna use my OnePlus 7 Pro uh, for doing the tests. So, comes in a pretty nice looking box. So we'll just do this quick, take a quick look. So I'd say, you know, from a presentation perspective, Pretty nice, tick box two. So you see here it says tick pods two, AI interactive, totally wireless earphones, the AI assistant in your ear. So there's a few different ways to control these. So we'll take a little bit of a look later on how that all works and if it actually works well. So there's some gesture controls and touch controls. Uh, they call them tickle touch <laughs> uh, gestures and we'll talk a little bit more about that but basically you can double tap you can swipe up and down you can long press that sort of thing to control them and we'll take a look so what do you have here you have the tick pod case and also have, I'm assuming this is going to be user manual, additional user manual for both the TickPods 2 Pro and TickPods, and then a USB-C cable for charging, USB-C cable, yeah, and so here, if you take a look at this, this is just kind of covered in plastic. Yeah. Totally ripped that the wrong way. And now to me, this is very reminiscent of the Galaxy Buds case, right? So it's a little bit smaller and opens up this way. Kind of has a little bit of a magnet there to close it. And then the Headphones themselves, you know, look very reminiscent, very similar to the AirPods 2. And I guess you have a little bit of you have some little uh, stickers that go over the electrical contacts. You have to remove before you can use them. Yeah, so there you go. So basically, yeah, like I said, these look very much like AirPods. As a matter of fact, I'll do a side-by-side. -side. So this is AirPod 2. Shape is a little bit different here. This is a little bit more angled. Oh, I gotta clean these too. There's, <laughs> sorry, a little earwax on there, but um, this is a little bit more angled inwards towards your ear. Uh, on the tick pod, it's a little bit shorter. Maybe not, it's, it's about the same length. Yeah, it's not really any shorter. But as you can see, I, obviously Apple's very rounded and curved. This is a little bit more angular, squared up on the side, kind of rectangle with 
backside is a little rounded, but very similar in shape. And I'll, uh, you know, when I put these in and, and kind of see how they fit, uh, AirPods for me fit very well in my ears. I don't really have a problem with these style. Um, so I'm assuming these will be very similar. I'm curious about the sound because it is a little bit, the sound port is angled in towards your ear a little bit more. I don't know if that helps with the sound or not, um, but we'll test that out. And obviously the difference is AirPods will charge from the bottom of the stem, and then this, they will charge from this these uh, contacts here when you lay them in the case. So from a price perspective, I believe these come in, I think right around $100. So these are the Tick Pods 2. I think they're like 99 bucks. You might be able to get them on sale on Amazon. I think I saw there is a bit of a coupon currently that you can apply if you buy these from Amazon. If you buy them direct from MobV, not really sure. You can take a look at that as well. But then, you know, basically you just have the charging case. Probably this is the Bluetooth pairing button. And yeah, I mean, it's super simple. They just fit, fit nicely right in there. And yeah, I mean, there you go. And if you do compare it to, to the AirPod 2 case, I mean, so obviously it's a little bit taller, maybe a little bit thicker. So not, maybe not as compact and nice as an AirPod case, um, but it's still not bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty small. You can easily put this in your pocket, put this in your bag. Whatever you might want to do with the AirPods, you can definitely do with these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pair these up with my, my smartphone, my uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. I'm going to use these for a few days in a bunch of different scenarios, kind of like I've done with other headphones. I'll take some phone calls for work. I'll listen to some music. I believe there's an app that you can use to adjust these. So I'll take a look at that, and I'll follow up on the computer with my thoughts and at the, at the end of this video. So, so let's jump over to the computer and I'll finish this up. So I've been using the TickPods 2 for the last week or so. I've used them in a bunch of different scenarios from listening to music to listening to phone calls, conference calls for work, and they've performed really well. I, I would even venture to say that they're a little bit better than the Apple AirPods 2 if you're talking about just a general usability perspective, because they have the volume control built in, you can slide your finger up and down to control the volume up and down. You can long hold for Siri. You can double tap to, to, to do a couple different functions, including things like answer calls or skip the next track if you're listening to music. So from that perspective, they're really cool. Now, the one thing that was a little bit confusing and I, don't like the way that the manual uh, is written for this because they kind of lump all the features of the TickPods 2 Pro in the same manual as the TickPods 2 and they have all these little stars around saying some things might not be applicable to whatever version that you have. And the TickPods 2 Pro have a few other things where there's head gestures and they have an accelerometer built in and all of that to kind of do some extra controls. But I don't know, that even just reading how that works seems a little gimmicky to me. I'd have to actually try those out in order to have any kind of informed opinion about whether that's you know a, a good thing or a bad thing or annoying or whatever. But if you're looking for just a basic set of truly wireless Ear, ear pods, kind of very similar to the, the AirPods, if you like that style. These are definitely worth taking a look at. And they're 99 bucks. I think I even saw like you can get another $10 off today. You know, if you go to the TickPods 2 site today, their MobV site, and you might be able to get them a little cheaper. So for $89, $99, I think they're really a pretty good deal. So I don't really have much more to say. I mean, they sound good. They feel good in my ears. The case is pretty good. It's a nice size, easy to charge, USB-C, all that. The app is a little quirky. I had some problems pairing it with my OnePlus 7 Pro, and that might, I don't know what the deal was there. I had to actually uninstall the app and reinstall the app, and then after that it was fine. But that was the only problem that I had. The only hiccup was the initial setup with the app. I tried it on an iPhone, and that went easier and more smoothly. I'm not sure why, but, but that was just the experience that I had. 
So overall, I think this is a very good value. I would give this a solid 8 out of 10 if I had to give it a score. Great sound, good battery life, all in all pretty decent. The only problems I had was a little bit of quirkiness with the app, which you know may get resolved with additional app updates. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <music>